Lakshmi Tantra Chapter 26 Elucidation of the Seven Vidyas Chakra O Padma, Absolute Brahman, Absolute Presence, residing in the lotus, garlanded with a lotus wreath, born from the lotus and consort of Govinda, I salute thee. O Goddess, these two ever-existing forms of thine have been enumerated. Are they distinct from thy subtle form? Shri There is but one original, supreme, and absolute reality consisting of Lakshmi Narayana, wherein all the six divine attributes exist motionless and unmanifested. It is pure, spontaneous, and consists of concentrated consciousness. I am Brahman's supreme Shakti, existing in union with it in all its states of existence. That Goddess, myself, is the supreme divine Shakti, known to be the gross, the subtle, and the absolute by the gradual process of elimination, neti neti. These two Shaktis, Tarika and Anutarika, are my mantra forms. O Purandara, fulfillment of all desires is milked out of these two. Both are considered divine. Both are known as supreme states. All things are regarded as existing in these two, and both are consorts of Vishnu. Adepts achieve the highest goal by meditating on both of them. Now listen to my account of the absolute and the subtle reality. The primary reality is the absolute Brahman. Then comes Shanta, and then Nada. Mm. This is the sequence of the gradual manifestation of reality. I remain an integral part of every state of reality in the form of Nimesha and Unmesha, the twinkling of reality's eyes. The primary state the Absolute Brahman, subtle and with Shakti, who is as yet motionless and unmanifested, is the base on which Tara, Aum, expands into the extensive ways of creation. The first manifestation of the Absolute Brahman, Bhavat, the existing, the Supreme Self, contains both Bhavat and Bhava, the state of existence. Tarika, ring, inheres therein. Anutarika, shring, inheres in the inert state called Shanta, which is Brahman's first descent caused by its creative urge that is chiefly characterized by existence. O Vasava, Bijas such as Vag, Bhava, etc. exist in the second descent of reality called Shakti, wherein Bhava, the creative state of existence, abounds. Thus I have explained to you the difference between Tara, Tarika, and Anutarika, which is based on the subtle wisdom that pervades them. Now listen to my description of Bijas such as Vag, Bhava, etc. Take the letter called Aishwarya, I, and connect it with the letter called Trilokaishwaryada, M. This Bija, Aing, is the source of creation and is known as Vag, Bhava. Now listen to the description of the Shakti known as Kundalini, which contains the entire creation coiled in a concentrated form. 
and which is identical with Shabda Shakti, the power of sound. The letter E is Maya, the supreme Shakti, the pure Jagad Yoni, or womb of the creation. She is Sri, the wife of the inscrutable householder, God Vishnu. With subtle vision, let the adept place the letter E before the letter E. Thus, the letter called Ishta, E, that brings about all desired objects, is established within the Bija. Next, the adept should direct his thoughts with subtle vision towards Ananda, A, to precede it, and, with the same subtle vision, he should join Aprameya, A, before it. Thus, the letter Aishwarya, I, is derived from a combination of four vowels, A plus A plus E plus E. The first two letters, namely Aprameya and Ananda, as their names suggest, represent Vishnu, while E and E form Ishta, representing the object of desire, and Maya representing Shakti. Hence, I combines both God and his creative Shakti, and thus represents the primordial source of all creation. This Shakti, I, is the source of creation, Jagadyoni, the giver of wealth to the three Lokas, bright, the concealer of the direct vision of all beings from the realization of the unfathomable, all-pervading Absolute Self, without beginning and end. The Shakti that is full of bliss, containing volition, knowledge, and action, the traits belonging to the letter I, incorporated in the letter I. He should meditate on Abja, Lakshmi, who is the Vacha, object of the Bija, Jagadyoni, envisioning her as the goddess, the wife of Vishnu, the bestower of sovereignty over the three worlds and the source of creation. The word Rati, the name of letter E, means sport in the worldly sense, and my activity is but my sport. The word Indhana, meaning illumination and knowledge, as well as will, Icha or Ishta, is also indicated by the letter E. The word Trilokya, meaning the three Lokas, indicates the three states of existence of living beings, Badha, Mukta, and Nitya Mukta. As Shakti brings about Aishwarya, prosperity to them. She is called Trilokaishwaryada. She, the Aprameya, unfathomable, unfolds the worlds through Bhuvanadvan, the journey of creation. And again, in that same highest, the Vyomesha or Absolute Self, she finally comes to rest. Such is the course of my rising and setting, my creative existence and my inert existence. This is the description of the Mahavidya Bija called Jagadyoni, which is the source of speech. The fifth Vidya, otherwise called Kama Bija, produces the fulfillment of desires. This is the great Shakti of Pradyumna, Learn her form from me. Paschimanana, fierce-faced, or wearing a malevolent expression, Karala, a name of the letter Ka, which is said to be the middle one of the Guna Tattvas, that is, Rajas, is Ranjana, delightful, which is somewhat tinged with the enjoyment of Sattva and Tamas. It represents the same absolute prakriti called ka that regulates the cosmic process. 
joined by Purusheshwara, La, she is determined to create and manifesting the threefold forms of Yakta, Purusha, and Isha, the same goddess Maya, or Shri, resides in Vyomesha, mm. Thus I have revealed both the form and the might of Kama Bija, Kling. The sixth Bija is the Saraswati Vidya Bija. Now listen to my account of that. O Chakra, I am Pragyadhara, who, the place where excellent knowledge becomes manifest. The same myself, the source of knowledge, is connected with Udaya, who, the active state of Vishnu. Then, with subtle vision, the adept should add Ananda, Ah, to precede that. And through the same subtle vision, Aprameya, Ah, should be inserted before that letter Ah. She, this mantra who is verily myself, arising from Aprameya, contains great bliss and is auspicious. And as the container of knowledge, she again resides in Vyomesha, mm, where after, in order to be connected with dissolution, she comes to Parameshwara, aha. Thus the sixth Vidya, Au, or in some lineages, Sau, has been duly recounted to you, both in its wording and in its meaning. This mantra complex, Vidya, consisting of the trio of Bijas, is referred to as Tripura. When it is practiced, first in Vyutkrama, reverse order, and then in Anukrama, regular order, it also brings about identity with the Self. This Vidya, when successfully practiced with Japa and Homa, by repetition of the mantras and fire ceremony, is said to fulfill all desires. The wise know that it has many different forms arising from the combination of various consonants and vowels. The seventh Vidya, Mahalakshmi Vidya Bija, is the source for satisfying all the four aims of human life, Artha, Kama, Dharma, and Moksha, both individually and collectively, and is capable of accomplishing anything. Taking the absolute Prakriti, Ka, the adept should join Bhaskara, Ksha, to it, and then having added Mardana, Ma, to that, he should join it to Kalavahni, Ra. Then he should decorate it with Maya, E. The resulting complex Akshara should be made to terminate with Vyapin, M. Mm. While performing Japa with this Bija, Kshmring, the adept should envision me as settled in Vyomesha, M. Mm and engaged in the phase of creative activity through the brilliance of my own power, after having passed through the state of Pradhan, or Prakriti, and having manifest the three forms, Avyakta, Purusha, and Isha, and having created all that exists. These vidyas, such as Anuttara, etc., are to be regarded as the rays of the vidya in the form of Tarika, and so they consist of Tarika. Those who worship this Tarika Vidya, according to the ritual precepts, enjoy imperishable pleasures both in this life and in the life to come.